Thank you for calling help and support for Amazon. This is David. How may I help you? Hi, David. I have a message on my answering machine about a $99 order. One moment, ma'am. I'm just checking. Okay. Thank you. Should I be logging into okay. my Amazon account to check this? Um, I don't log into it very often. Uh, ma'am, actually, I can see there was a order on your name that has been confirmed, and that's the reason you got the call. What can I do? Because I didn't know. I only, I mean, I'm going to be ordering Amazon gifts with, when I get some gift cards uh, for Christmas, but I haven't done any such thing. So what can be done about this? I don't want to jeopardize my Christmas. I do understand your concern, ma'am. The thing is that uh, the order which was made in your account was the Amazon gift card. <clears throat> okay, because normally... I go to I go to like a Walmart or maybe even Target, a place where you can buy gift cards, and that's where I get my gift cards. I don't order them. Ma'am, for canceling it, we need to uh, you need to go ahead and uh, fill up the verification form. Oh, there's a form. Okay. Can yes, ma'am. Do you have a computer? Um, I'm yes, sorry. I have, well, I have a laptop computer. That's what I use to go to Amazon. Okay, can you be in front of that right now so that I can help you to get it? I will be helping you to connect to the Amazon Secure Server so that we will be able to go ahead and send you the verification form, okay? Okay. Okay, I've opened my Google Chrome and it's now at the Google search um, site. Okay, now have a look at the top. At the top, you will see, like, uh, there would be a long white panel where you can type the website. Yeah, the address bar. Okay, type over there, www. www.ultraviewer www. and press enter and let me know what can you see, ma'am, okay? Um, and have a look at ultra, the top. It's written, it's, a, yes. it's written, what's, a, what's ultra viewer? Yes, what's ultra viewer? It's got documents, Beside that, can you see download? Blog, contact. And then below that, can you see download? Rem can you see download? Control support software. This is an interesting page. It says Ultra Viewer helps you control your partner's computer to support them as if you were sitting in front of their screen. What is an Ultra Viewer? Ma'am, Ma Ultra Viewer is an application by which I will be able to help you to connect to the Amazon Secured Server. Okay. Okay. And then I will be able to send you the 3D secured form. Well, it says on the screen that there's more than 40 million downloads. It's 100% freeware, very easy to use. I, and remote control is. Why would I need to support my partner? I don't understand. I just want to cancel on Amazon. Ma'am, we need to go ahead and cancel that with the certification form. So just go ahead and give a click on download. Once you give a click on download, you will see there would be three options at the down. Can you see that? Um, actually, it it opened up an EXE at the lower left hand side of the screen. It's called Ultra Viewer Underline Setup Dot 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 EXE. Below that, can you see there is a orange color box? With the no. download. No. There is an orange a, color small box. I don't, I don't see an orange color box. It's, it's just in the lower left hand corner of my Chrome. It says Ultra Viewer Setup EXE. You can see three options for download once you give a click on download at the top. Okay. Download. Okay, now there's Download Ultra Viewer. And it's got the orange download button. Yes, yes. Give a click on that orange button. Okay, now there's two Ultra Viewer set up here at EXE. Yes, I know that, but you need to give a click on that orange one. Okay, I click on it again. Now there's three Ultra Viewer set up EXE. Yes, ma'am, you need to give a click on that orange color box. Okay, I did. And now there's four Ultra Viewer set up here at EXE. At the bottom of my screen. Each time I click on the download, it makes a new Ultra Viewer it's, setup EXE. Yes, 
yes at the down there is a small box which telling that and uh, it's getting downloaded yeah once that is but, done give a click on that small box all right which one the orange box we'll click on the orange box again yes at the very down okay now there's six now there's six ultra viewer setup exes how many do i need to open get that. open that open all six yes open that from the down okay now it says open file security warning do you want to run this file yes Name, give a click on run s-e-r-s slash mary slash download yes give a click on slash ultra viewer setup six two number five exe Publisher, give a click on duck fabulous co limited and now it's asking me do you want to allow this app to make changes yes. to your device yes. give a click on you now it says set up or install ultra viewer into the following folder Setup will create the program shortcuts in the following start menu folder. Okay, go for next. Select additional tasks you would set up to perform while installing Ultra Viewer, then click next. Give a click on next. Okay. So now it's got Ultra Viewer 62 free, allow remote control. Please tell your partner Over the following there, ID and password you would Over like there. to allow remote control. Okay, give me a moment now. Can you see ID I and can... the password over there? Yes, I do. All right, give me a moment. Okay, okay, it starts with the number two. So two. number two is the start. Yes, the number two. Okay. And then it okay. has a number eight the number eight okay do you want the next number yes the next number is the number six okay do you want the next number tell me when you're ready mm -hmm. it's number yes. nine the number nine okay are you ready to receive the next number? Yes. The number three. Okay. The next number is a three. Okay. Followed by three. Okay. One minute now. Let me connect you to the Amazon secured server. What happened to my doggy? I had a dog, my doggy Beatrice. On my wallpaper. You will get it, ma'am. Don't worry. You took it away. Why did my dog no, go away? Don't worry, ma'am. I am worried. That's my thank you. Thank no you problem. so much. No problem, ma'am. All right, ma'am. So right now I will be going ahead and helping you to cancel the things and get back your refund. Okay. Okay. Okay, can you open your Amazon account on your computer? Okay, and have a look at the top. You will see your account. Can you see that? I'm still waiting for Amazon to load. You're going to need to be patient. Take your time, ma'am. No problem. Okay, I'm signed in. Do you want me to look at my orders? It's a, yes, account, account list. Account list at the top. Yes. Give a click on that. Okay. Now it has two columns. Account. account. Give or... a click on account. Okay. Account. Okay. I did. At the very down, you can see ordering and shopping preference. Where? And just below that, it's written your addresses. Can you see that? I don't see. Oh, yeah, your addresses. Okay. Give a click on that. I don't have my address in my Amazon because I don't buy products. I just buy gifts and ship them to like my cousin and my nephew that is the reason ma'am they were going with those things with your billing address 
Not a problem. Give me a moment, okay? Can you okay. just confirm me with your address? Yes, it's 625 South Redwood Road, apartment Bel 831. Bel Bellwood Road? Lake no, Redwood. Can you spell that for me, please? You don't know how to spell Redwood? Uh, no, I know. I'm just confirming it so that I don't make any mistake while filling up your verification form. Okay, it's R E D. Like even like what? The, it's R E D, like the color. Mhm. Mm and then d W O O D, like the wood. Oh, okay. I don't use credit cards. I go to the like Walmart or the Target. Or even 7-Eleven, mm -hmm. you, you can buy Amazon gift cards there. Oh, okay. Got you, man. It's safer. One I, I, don't, I'm just... I, don't, I don't trust websites with my, with my bank card. Because I got... I had money stolen from me once. Okay. No problem, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. On your computer, can you open Ultra Viewer? I'm going to open Ultra Viewer? How do I do that? Yes. Open Ultra Viewer. Uh, just have a look at the very down tax bar. There is yeah. an icon in blue color. Yes. Uh, right now, like, uh, I'm just sending all the details to our superiors so that they can check and just confirm me what they can do for you, all right? Okay. Thank you. Yes. No problem, ma'am. I got a confirmation, all right? Okay. I will be hanging up this call and you will be getting a right call back from my senior supervisor, okay? Okay, thank you. I'll be, I'll be ready. Right. I'm just hanging up this call. You will get a call from my senior supervisor. Okay, ma'am? How long? How long will it take? Uh, two minutes. Two to three minutes. Not more than that. Okay. So okay. Just All right. Just, just wait here? Yes, ma'am. Wait for the call. Yes, ma'am. Wait okay. for the call. Okay. Thank you. All right. Bye. Have a good day, ma'am. Bye-bye. Uh, Hello? Am I speaking with Mary? Yes, this is Mary. Yeah, hi, Mom. My name is Mark. How are you doing today? I'm doing fine. How are you, Mark? I do fine. Thanks for the concern. I do believe as you had a talk with one of my junior technicians, he has been polite with you and he was helping you out, right? Well, he wasn't necessarily helpful. He didn't seem to know much about what we're doing here. He seemed more interested in well, my agenda. He seemed more interested in my address than he was in getting my order canceled. Well, I can understand your concern, man. No need to worry. I would be definitely going out and helping you with everything. All right? Okay. Thank you. Now, tell me one thing, ma. Is this someone else who used your Amazon account apart from you? Um, well... Oh, sometimes I'll let my husband uh, watch like a sports and movie how... or sometimes, you know, I, I'll uh, get the family when they're over for dinner. We'll play like a, like, no. a, like a Christmas special on Prime Video, if that's what you mean. Uh, I'm, asking, I'm asking about the Amazon account, which you used in order to make a purchase. Like, is there someone else who even, is there someone else who even use your Amazon account in order to make a purchase? No, no, there isn't. No, it's only you, right? It's only, only me. All right, Mary. Like at this point of moment, how you use your Amazon account in order to make a purchase? Like you use which device? Use your computer, you use your cell phone. What you I use? use? I use my computer. You use only your computer, right? I only use my computer. All right. Give me a moment. Like at this point of moment, what exactly happened is that man. There are some hackers who got the unauthorized access of your Amazon account and they are using your Amazon account in order to make a whole bunch of illegal purchases out from your account, okay? 
Well, that's confusing me because I looked at my order history and there aren't any orders. Well, ma'am, at this point of moment, what exactly the hack that they have done? After making up purchases from your account, they have marked all the purchases as a hidden purchase. Do you know what is hidden purchase? No, I don't. Hidden purchases are the purchases which are hidden in nature. Like if you oh. shop online, if you mark oh, so, that particular so, purchase as a hidden purchase, that's so the reason you won't able to find that purchase going to show you up on your bank account straight with that. And so neither is going to so show you up on your order Mark, history. So that means they're going to 7-Eleven and they're buying Amazon gift cards and ordering items through my Amazon. It's not like that. Um, they are not going to 7-Eleven. They are not purchasing anything out from there. But they are going to your bank account. They are purchasing gift cards from your bank account, Mary. Well, they would have to use an Amazon gift card like I do. Because I don't have any payment information on my account. I only use gift cards. I understand, ma'am. But do you okay. do online banking from your computer? No, yes, I do. Yes, the hacker, they have went to your online banking account. They purchased Amazon gift card from there. And then they are using your Amazon gift card in order to make a whole bunch of purchases from your Amazon account. Oh. Now that does yes. concern me. What the hacker they have done? Since they marked all the purchases as a hidden purchases, so it might happen you won't be able to find that purchase going to show you up on your bank account statement. So can you log nice. into your account, check out your account? Because okay. they have marked all the purchases as a hidden purchase. So the, the purchases will stay hidden? Well, the purchase you won't be able to find. It's going to show you up on your bank account statement immediately. You're going to find this purchase going to show you up on your bank account statement after three days or after yeah. four days. What happened to my doggy wallpaper? Sorry? I had, a, I had a wallpaper of my doggy Beatrice and it's missing. Oh, thank you. Okay, I'm logged into my bank. And I'm looking at my statement. Can you see any kind of purchase like that? Is it showing you up over there? No. I can see there is a purchase made from your Amazon account for $382. Yeah. Today's state. Is it, is it made from your site? Amazon purchase $382.16. Well, I, I bought some. I bought. Let's see. Let me look. No, I bought this when I went to Walmart and I paid them for some gift cards. And what exactly the gift card you purchase? Is you purchase a Walmart gift card or what gift card it was? It was Amazon gift cards. And as for what's the value of the gift card? Um, let me look. Okay, I have I have two $100 gift cards and a $60 gift card and a 20 and then I got charged like $2 or something like that. I understand that. And what exactly the, this charge is for? Which is for Amazon purchase, $382. Well, I bought three hundred and eighty dollars worth of cards, but they have a they have a small percentage that they charge. Uh, well, the charges that you're talking about, it's there on your Walmart account. Can you see this Walmart purchase two eighty six dollar? I'm talking about this three eighty two dollar. Okay, you're not listening to me. I went I went to Walmart and I purchased three hundred and eighty dollars worth of Amazon gift cards and there was a two dollar plus 16 cent transaction fee to load the cards okay so you bought three walmart cards of hundred uh, three amazon cards for a hundred dollar each correct no you're not listening to me i have two 
I have three $100 cards, a $60 yes. card, and a $20 card for a total of $380. Okay, okay, that... And there was a transaction okay, fee. Ma'am. I Why understand. You... Give me a moment. Can you give me a that was my purchase, though. I understand that now. But what I'm telling you is that since the hacker, they have marked all the purchases as a hidden purchase. That's the reason you won't able to find this purchase going to show you up on your bank account statement. And that's the reason it's not showing you over there. So what do I do? No. I'm helping you with everything. Right now, I can see the hacker. They make three purchases from your account right now. The very first purchase is for $210. I don't the see that The second one is for 30 You I won't be able to see that, ma'am, as I told you. The second okay. purchase is for uh, $62. Okay. Can you cancel them? Well, I'm helping you. No need to worry. Give me a moment. I'm Thank checking you. it out. Everything. And the third purchase is for $108. Okay. Can you please cancel them? Give me a moment. Now I'm waiting. So I'm repeating for you the amount once again. The very first one is for 220 The second one okay. is for 62 The third one is for $108. And if you're going to add up all the three purchases, the total purchase which you receive on your account is $390. I wrote that down. Yeah. I don't, so what I'm going to do is that, right, like right now, what I'm going to do is that I would be going out and refunding you $390 on your account. You're going to oh. find the money that would be getting credited on your account instantly. All right. Now give me a moment now while I quickly go ahead and do that for you. All right. Just Thank give you. me a moment. And meanwhile, do me a favor, kindly make a note of the available balance which you have on your checking account so that once you receive the money, you could check out the difference. So make a note of the available balance. Okay, I've written down my balances. All right. Now give me a moment. Let me quickly go ahead and reimburse you your money back. All right. And please don't touch your computer while I'm refunding you your money back. Now please don't touch your computer. Why is my screen shrinking? Okay. And I see. Well, transfer. I'm working on your computer. I, yes, okay, I'm, I'm transferring you the I'm money. Gonna, I'm going exactly I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to sign out and then you can do the, you can cancel the. the... Well, ma'am, how could I reimburse you the money? If, if, I, if you sign out of your account, how could I refund you the money? I can't refund you the money if you got signed out from your account. Can you make it bigger? It's tiny. I don't. Oh, that's, that's better. Okay, I'm locked back in. No, hold on for a moment, please. All right, hold on for a moment. Let me refund you the money. Please don't use your computer. Are you using your computer? No, see, I see that someone's making a transfer from my savings account. It's on well, the we got nothing to do with this. Please don't. Well, don't use your computer. Let me quickly add Amazon support accounts over there. Hold on, ma'am. Are you using your computer? Please leave that set up your mouse and keyboard. I'm not touching it. I can, I'm can. i just looking at the screen. They're doing a transfer from my savings account. I can see it clearly. Hold on, ma'am. Let me complete it first. Okay. Let me complete it first. Once I complete, then you check from where you receive the money and everything. All right? Okay. Now I see my desktop icon. Well, did you close it out? Did you close your bank account? No, I didn't. I'm not touching the computer. Why do you keep saying stuff like that? Hold on, man. Now there's some strange stuff on the screen I don't understand. What Hold does on. elements in console and debugger mean? Ma'am, will you please give me a moment? Will you please allow me to work? You're not allowing me to work. Just give me a moment. Once I, I complete understand. my job, then you could ask me whatever. Ma'am, once I complete my job, then you could feel free to ask me the questions, whatever you want. First, let okay. me complete the work. Okay. I just don't know what inspect element means. 
I'm from there. I would be going out and I'm adding Amazon support account over there. Okay. Once the Amazon support account got added, then I could go ahead and make a transfer. Okay. Hold on for a moment. How long does this take? Yes, ma'am. Give me a moment. Okay. It's gonna take some time, ma'am. Just give me a moment. Uh, Once I'm done, I'm letting you know. How long will it take? It's gonna take some time. Even I'm waiting to get it done but how long mark some time can mean five minutes it could mean 10 minutes it's gonna take 15 to 20 minutes oh 15 to 20 minutes yes that's what i'm telling you five to ten minutes oh five to ten minutes yes okay yes well uh i can see my voice getting echoed what exactly it's all about? What? I'm wearing a, a Bluetooth headset. I've had people tell me that they hear an echo when they talk to me sometimes. I could hear the same thing. It's my Bluetooth headset. Turn your volume down. Okay, hold on. I'm holding on. Ma'am, meanwhile, can you tell me one thing? Your computer is connected with the Wi-Fi router or is it connected with the modem? How's your computer is connected with? It's connected to my modem with a with a network cable. Re-log into your account, man. We got your account logged out. Re-login. Oh, Mark? Yes, ma'am, I'm there. Give me a moment. I said I was logged back in. Yes, ma'am, I'm there. Give me a moment. Can you hear me? Yes. I know, ma'am. Give me a moment. You said it was going to take five to ten minutes. It seems to be taking longer. I can understand, ma'am. Give me a moment. I'm working on that, too. I want to, I want to complete the work as fast as I can. And that's exactly five... what I am on right now. You said five to ten minutes. Exactly, ma'am. Give me a moment. How, how, how many moments do you need? Sorry. Oh, I see. You can change the values. That's interesting. Sorry? I was just noticing that you can change your values on the page. That's pretty cool. I'm learning something. How could I change the value? Um, I saw you change the number to something different. I think it's kind of neat. So how much longer is this going to take, Mark? Oh, you hung up. Social Security Administration, how can I help you? Hello. I'm returning the phone call. You left a message on my answering machine. Okay. And did you receive any case ID number or any kind of reference ID number? No, it just said that my social security number is about to be suspended. Okay. Well, first of all, you're speaking with Officer Lauren Gray from the Social Security Administration. Well, sir, the reason you have been contacted today was to inform you regarding some legal enforcement action that has been filed under your social, um, which has gotten order to suspend your social at this right moment. As we have found many suspicious activities that has been going on under your social. So do you have any knowledge about this, sir? Uh, no, I don't. Um, that's kind of a surprise. Okay. What, what's going on? Um, well, do not worry. I'll give you general information. Just to confirm, did you receive any calls from a local police department by today or by yesterday? No, Did you I receive haven't. any calls? No. Okay. Well, as per the law, you have the right to know everything about this ongoing investigation. But before I go ahead and give out the information, let me tell you that the information which I have in my system is very confidential and very sensitive. So, in order to verify that I'm providing this information to the right person or not, can you please verify on the video of that of your birthday? My birthday was October 26, 1970. Okay. 
And also verify me with the last four digit of your social security number in order for me to go ahead and give out your key ID number. Um, it's nine four five four. Okay. okay. Um, so just for the verification, can you tell me from which state your social security number has been issued? From which state? Um, I was born in Maine. Uh, so right now, your affidavit states that your social has been compromised in the state of Texas. So just to confirm, have you ever visited the state of Texas, sir? Yes, I have. I love Texas. Okay, and when is the last time you visited the state of Texas? Um, the last time I visited was in 2017. 2017, okay. Um, but, do you know well, anyone who visited Texas? Well, that, that, that depends. Do, do you count if I stop in Dallas for like a, a flyover? Sometimes you have to stop and catch another plane. If that's the case, okay, I was there. Okay. I was there a month ago in mm -hmm. Dallas, Fort Worth. Okay, um, sir. So do you know of anyone who visit Texas frequently, like a friend, your colleagues, or any of your family members? Do you know of anyone? I have, yeah, I have a brother in Corpus Christi. Okay. Um, have you ever lost your phone or your wallet in the past or any of your personal documents? Have you ever lost it? Well, yeah. Um, let's see. Back in 2013, I got real sick, mm -hmm. so I had my sister do my taxes. Okay. I had to, um, give, her, I had to give her my Social Security number. But she did them wrong. She did, she did them wrong, and I got audited, so... Mm -hmm. I, I got mad okay, at her because okay. she, she did that. Mm -hmm. And then okay. um, um, sure. that's the only time I've ever okay. given out anything personal to anyone. I wouldn't give it. I wouldn't give that out to okay. anybody but a relative because I trust them. Uh -huh. um, do you remember entering your personal details online on any website while applying for loan, credit cards, or the payday loan? Yes, actually, several times. Uh, back in 2009, I was a little short on cash, so I asked my friend um, if he could, I can borrow some money, and he said he didn't have money. But he said, you know there's this website where you can get a payday loan. So I found this payday okay. loan site. But to do it, you had to give them a lot of information, like your Social Security number, your mm -hmm. date of birth, and where you worked. But I got the loan, and I paid it back on time. Okay, okay. And then 2000, uh, so right now, 2000, the, the 2013, in 2013, when I got sick, um, the doctor, he, he, he was actually knew a friend of mine, and so they helped me fill out another type of payday loan to help me pay for, for my, um, I had tonsillitis. So I had to give out my personal information to be able to get the money okay. to pay for my tonsillitis. But I got, I got better and I, 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 I paid that. I was actually late paying that one back so I had to pay lots of interest. It was kind of a bummer. Okay. Uh, so right now, sir, the thing is that someone is trying to use your personal social information for identity and has committed many fraudulent activities in the state of Texas. Um, see, right now, there's the two legal charges which are against your name, but right now we're not sure whether it's done by you or it's done by someone else. We cannot well, judge you over the yeah. phone right now. But it might be a case of identity theft where someone else might have access to your personal information. He's doing this kind of fraudulent activities in the state of Texas. So, just to confirm, in the past, have you ever been a victim of identity theft, like someone used your personal information or something like that? No. Um, well, what do you mean by identity theft? Because I had my wallet stolen from me once. Um, I was at a, a bus stop in Reno. Hmm. Do you mean by if someone okay. steals your wallet or? Okay. Uh, or, see, right now I'll. Right now I'll go ahead. And do you mean identity theft? Ident or do you mean identity theft where somebody takes like a loan out under your name? Okay, uh, so right now there is two legal charges which are against your name, okay? One is for money laundering and the second one is for drug trafficking. Like I said, oh. right now we're not sure whether it's done by you or it's done by someone else. 
Well, it wasn't right done now, by I'll me. Go ahead and read up. It, it, it okay. wasn't done by me. I can guarantee you that. I, I don't. Okay. I don't, uh, see, I'll I don't go ahead and read out some of the legal. I don't do drugs, and I wouldn't launder money. I have no need to. I don't know why you're telling me this. Mm -hmm. Um, let me do one thing. Let me just fix your information to your local social security office. Okay, you can go and visit your local social security office, and you can grab the information from them. Okay, so I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> she gave up. <laughs>